Hello, my name is Jurgen, and welcome back to the channel. Today, a new game, at least for this channel, Gran Turismo Sport. This has been a long-running favourite of mine. I haven't actually made any videos of the older games. Well, maybe I could in the future, but for now, we have Gran Turismo Sport. This game is part of a long-running franchise since 1990s, I believe, 1997, something like that way back on the old PlayStation 1 and now we're on PlayStation 4. It is of course on PlayStation 4 Pro but we're running this on the baseline game so the actual gameplay is not as good looking as it could be but that doesn't really detract from the gameplay and it doesn't look bad anyway. It runs smoothly, plays well, what's no I mean yeah what's they're not to like other than it could be a bit more graphically impressive for 2017 almost 2018 but without further ado we'll get into some gameplay we hit single player and we'll go on dragon tail so currently we haven't got maps from ones that i recognize anyway i'm not sure if there are maps from Gran Turismo 5, which I've played. I haven't played Gran Turismo 6, but I started way back on Gran Turismo 2, moved it on to Gran Turismo 3, so I've played a Gran Turismo title on every console uh, from Sony, anyway. Uh, apart from the PlayStation Portable version of this game, which I can't comment whether it was good or not, I've heard mixed feelings towards this game because it kind of deviates from how Gran Turismo came about and garnered its player base, primarily being a single player experience. But regardless of that, there is still single player in the game where you do these arcade races, however there will be a single player experience being added or something which is reviving the classic gameplay where you played these cup challenges and you raced in the cups and got prize money to buy new vehicles of course but also you had to play by their regulations so you could play in only four wheel drive cars or vehicles of a certain class or you could only play in Audi TTs or whatever I mean the Audi TTS is in the game at least but that update is supposed to be coming in December and I'm recording this in December 20th so that would mean we've got a few more days hopefully oh, off the track almost good news is this uh, wow well, I wasn't paying attention I just looked down at the break <laughs> but the game is solid I think it feels good to play and that's the main thing graphically as I said it isn't as impressive as it could be I was very much impressed back in the day when Gran Turismo 5 came out and I mean Gran Turismo 2 and 3 although they are dated graphically now back then it was pretty impressive so the car models and stuff look good the tracks look good the scenery looks better than it has done but the guys at Polyphony Digital I believe who make the game uh, really don't focus on like the crowds and stuff but it does look better on every iteration and I imagine the PS4 Pro version of this game looks really really solid uh, although there is something wrong with HDR if you don't have a proper color screen uh, HDR screen uh, you have to play it in standard mode otherwise things look washed out and grainy and you might notice that on YouTube as well although YouTube has this problem where everything gets compressed uh, due to bitrate even if I upload it in higher resolutions. I could upload this in 440p, playing it at 1080p though. So the upscaling might help, but what you will see on YouTube will look a little less than what it does here. This looks really da dangerous as hell. Having all of these go-karts yeah, I shouldn't have braked then. I currently have the... Whoa, in third place though. currently have the... Um, 
assisted break on I think because when I loaded the game for the first time it asked me what my experience level in racing games and Gran Turismo specifically was and I put medium because I'm not a professional at this game at all. I just enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Races are pretty good when you just want to you know hit the track against AI or against players in this game as well. This is against AI currently and just you know have some fun. This is what racing is all about for me, it's just about fun. Not really about being hugely competitive. Of course you want to win, go come first of course, but you know other games like FPS's and stuff it's all about being competitive and shooting your way to the top or whatever and sometimes it gets frustrating. You know when you play single player titles there is the element of you versus the game rather than you, the game, and other players who could be potentially dodgy, you know, using hacks or whatever. But, yeah, Gran Turismo, really smooth, intuitive, oh, nice. Not sure about the music choices in the background sometimes, but we can drown out most of the music with the uh, sound of an engine, although this is the go-kart engine. Travelling at 100 odd miles an hour though, so there you go. Oh. oh, I just got hit by a guy in the back, and I'm about to lose the race because of that corner. Unless I can out-accelerate this fool. Oh, yes. 0.12 a second behind. Wow, I just made that guy spin out, I think. I think I got this in the back. There we go. <laughs> 206.7. Only just won that by 0.1 of a second, almost 0.2 of a second. But yeah. All of those were AI, and of course we were playing that on Intermediate if you didn't catch that when I was selecting the race. But there we go, some prize money, mileage points, and distance travelled on the track. Every time you complete 26.2 miles, oh, we leveled up to level 14. But yeah, every time you progress to 26.2 miles, you unlock a new car. Uh, they give you like a spinning wheel of cars and you get given one at random you can get given a low tier car and you can get given a concept car so yeah there it is actually won a go-kart race for once i normally am not that good but we unlocked a new track mount panorama circuit i imagine that's going to be quite a technical track if we look at the tracks very briefly um Let's see. So we got classics or versions of classics like the speedway maps where it's a big circuit straight. Then we got more complex tracks but relatively easy like this one that we just played. Then we got the reverse track as well. Seaside 2, Colorado Springs. There's sort of duplicates of the same map but you play them in reverse or slightly differently. Another speedway here, but this is a scaling track, so got a big straight instead of two large straights and two large circuit, uh, two large corners. Then you got these Tokyo ones, which I'm looking forward to playing and making some videos on. And then all of these Willow Springs maps, from my brief experience on them, uh, are American tracks, of course, but they are complicated, <laughs> very technical. Um, especially this one. It's a very slow track that where you can't really go above 70 or 80 in a lot of vehicles unless they have very good brakes and then acceleration on top of that. But we'll be back with more because this game is just good. Um, I've heard mixed feelings as I said earlier I think towards the fact that it is marketed as an online experience but they're gonna be adding single player content over the course of the game and I really am looking forward to that. So hopefully you enjoyed that, we'll be back with more and as always I've been Jujin and I'll see you chaps and chapettes in the next one.